everyone, Exonic Dan here. Welcome back to another video. Happy holidays. By the time I'm recording this video, it is December 23rd, 2020, which means that tomorrow is Christmas. So if any of you guys happen to be watching this on Christmas, I wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let's hope that 2021 will be a better year than 2020. But now, without further ado, let's get into today's video topic. Now, today's video topic is going to be on the American company known as GameStop. Now, if now for now if the name GameStop doesn't sound familiar to you, you probably live in a country where it's known as EB Games. I live in Canada, and GameStop is known as EB Games. So basically, in today's video, I am going to be talking about um, some stuff that EB Games and GameStop um, okay. have been doing, like stuff that they've been doing that really needs to be put to an end because basically what they're doing is that they're basically scamming their customers. So um, I'm going to be going in through this video, basically talking about all the scams that GameStop and um, EB Games polls on their customer. So without further ado, let's get into the first scam that they do. So the first scam that they do is that they basically put, um, they basically have opened new copies of games. So basically, um, they have all the factory sealed plastic wrap off of the game. They have that um, sold on their store shelves. What makes this even worse is that some GameStop and EB Games employees will actually take the disc or the game card home with them and then play them and then bring that disc or game card that they used and sell it on their store shelves. And let me tell you, and, the, and, and also after they bring that disc or the game card that they use and then sell that same disc or game card on the store shelf, they will label it as new. And let me tell you this, if it's been used by another player especially if it was an employee, it's not considered as new anymore. And if the plastic wrap is taken off of the game, it's still not considered new, even if it wasn't even played by another player. Because as soon as the, pla as soon as the pl plastic wrap is off, it's no longer considered new. It is considered used. So basically, that is something that's not really okay. Um, the next and the reason why they actually do and the re and the reason why they actually bring the discs or the game cards home with them to play them is so that way the the employees can actually answer questions if a customer has questions about a game. They, they, the company says that the employee bring those games home with them so that way they can get more information about the game, which is something that really because. Uh, but and still, like it should not be labeled as new if it was played by another person or an, or especially if it was an employee as well. The next scam that I'm going to be talking about is them basically doing false advertising for their games. So basically what they do is that basically um, they will label new games as used games. And the reason why they do this is because they the reason why they do this is because most of GameStop's and EB Games money comes from used games. And let me tell you this. They it is absolutely crazy that they're actually doing this and I can't believe that they're actually getting away with this. It is absolutely horrible and the worst part is that remember I don't know how many of you guys remember this, but back in 2017 there was this very huge trend happening on YouTube where people were licking Nintendo Switch cartridges because apparently people heard that Nintendo has covered the Nintendo Switch cartridges in a really bad, um, in a liquid that you really shouldn't put in your mouth um, to basically prevent children from putting them in their mouths. So basically, um, people have been doing this on YouTube. And basically, um, you may run into a copy of a Nintendo Switch game and when you get, and when you look in and when you and then when you open the game, you may see a lick stain on the Nintendo Switch cartridge, and and on top of that, you will see that the game is labeled as new. It is absolutely horrible and disgusting on why they would even do this. It's absolutely horrible. The next scam that they pull on their customers 
is swapping game cases on you. Now, there are basically different variants of this scam. I'm going to go over all the variants and basically tell you about every single variant um, that, this, that EB Games and GameStop um, pulls on their customers to basically scam them. So basically, what they... So the, so the first variant is basically fake game cases. Now, basically, fake game cases are basically um, game cases that look very legit, um, but there will be some things that will be very hard, that, but there may be some things that may be very hard to spot or things that will be very obvious to spot. Um, so on the front, you will see that there is a little cutout of the ESRB rating. And you can tell that it's a cutout because you can see a white outline um, on the box. And then when you flip over the box and you look at the back side, you will see that the font on the back of the game case is in the wrong font. And, you will, and then when you flip it on the side, you will see that it is definitely a fake game because the console logo will be bigger than, than, than it would be on an actual game case. And you will also see that the video game logo is also in the wrong font. And then right after the, the console logo, you will see a very thin gray line. And that is basically a... And also, on, and also on top of that, also on the back, you will see a GameStop. You will see the GameStop and EB Games logo on the back as well with the font that is in with with font that is in the wrong font and that is absolutely horrible the next variant is basically um is coloring of the cases so say for an example a video game uh has a red case so basically um you'll see that um the game has a red case so when you bring that game to the front from to the front desk they will basically give you the same game, but it will be in a different case color. And on top of that, there will also you may also notice that there may be some inserts missing as well. Some some of these inserts may include an instruction booklet, um, a redeemable code that you could put in, or recommended games as well, which is absolutely horrible as well. And it's just something that is not okay. And the last variant of this scam is basically removing bonus content from the game. So basically, what, what I mean by this is, um, say for an example, you bought a copy of New Super Mario Bros. U, and it has the bonus content for New Super Luigi U. You bring that copy to the front desk, and they and then they and then they give you the copy of New Super Mario Bros. U, but it doesn't have the New Super Luigi U bonus content. Now, basically, I don't know how to explain this, but they, but, they, but you're, but GameStop and EB Games, your customer has literally brought you a copy of a game that has bonus content, and then you give them the copy that does not have that bonus content. Like, what, like, what do you think you're doing? Like, this is, like, not okay. They literally went to the store just to get that game, so just to get the game, and on top of that, it has the bonus content. So why are you doing this to your customers? The next, next scam that I am going to be talking about is basically them lying to their customers. So basically, um, what, what they will do is that they say that they'll have a certain um, game on their website. And when you scroll down to see um, if they have um, that game in a store that is very close to you, you will see that they, you will see that they have a game at a store that's relatively close to you. And then when you get there, and then when you drive to that store that has that game in, you the, you will go there, and then you'll ask an employee if you have if they have that game as a new copy. And then they'll say that they have the game in, but they have a used copy of it. And then they'll say that they will, and then they say that you, and then they'll say, that, and then you'll say that yeah, but I want to know if you have a new copy of the game. And they say, but we have, we do, but we have a we. But, but they'll say that they have a used copy of the game. And then, and, and what some people will do is that they'll actually show proof that the store actually has the game by actually showing them that the website actually says that that store that they're in 
actually has a new copy of the game. But they will literally try to deny that, and they will basically push the customer into buying a used copy of that game. And the reason why they do this is, again, because they make more money off of used games. And the last scam that I'm going to be talking about is them basically um, charging you extra money for a game. Yes, you heard me right. They will actually charge customers extra money for a game. So basically, how this works is that they will basically put a protection warranty on your game without you even knowing about it. So basically, um, you buy a game and then they basically put a protection warranty on it without you even knowing. And they'll be, and you'll find out that you'll and basically. Um, you'll find out that they're actually charging you way more money than the game actually is supposed to cost, and they'll and you'll and you'll ask them why they're why, and you'll ask them why why they're charging you extra money for the game, and they'll be like, it's, "You're paying for the protection warranty," and you'll say, "Well, I didn't want to buy for the, well, I didn't ask for the protection warranty." And then they'll say, well, too bad, you're paying for it anyways. And that is absolutely horrible on why they would even do this. It is, it is just absolutely disgusting. And they need to be stopped with these scams because they have been doing these scams for an extremely long time. I don't know how long that they've been doing this, but I know that they've been doing this for several years. And they and these scams need to stop because these scams still happen to this very day. And these scams need to be put to an end. Anyways, that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys haven't to enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe because I do videos every single day. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.